All right, so we're in the water. Um, first off, just because it's so easy, uh, Nymphaea, it's got the little vampire teeth, but here's a better one with the good vampire teeth, right? All right, Myrophyllum. See how the inflorescence is sticking up out of the water? That's true with all, um, all submergents need to flower out of the water. So, uh, so that, that's kind of cool to, to see those. And then these are really easy. Um, see how they're, they look like feathers? The, each individual leaf looks like a feather. Um, if it's got more than 12 on one side, then it's the invasive Myrophyllum spicatum. So this, it looks like it's the invasive. Um, so, uh, okay, another easy one. We've seen a bunch of the whorls of, of three. So this is Elodea canadensis. Okay, well, El we'll just do Elodea. Um, it's a good fish tank plant. There's, um, this stuff here is, is not an easy one, but it's easy to know the genus. This is gonna be a, a Potomagetan, and we know that because it's got a strong mid vein and stipules. So let me see if I can show you a good stipule. So see the, the good stipule there? Mm-hmm, sure do. And then you can see the mid vein. Um, this one is pointy, so I think it's hilii, but I, I don't I don't know without looking at it under your scope. Um, so, okay, and then right here is a... This is a better Potomagetan, uh, just because it's, it's just bigger. So see the strong mid-vein, and if I pull this, it's got a huge stipule. It's also really flat. Um, this is Potomagetan, and this actually is Zostera mm -hmm. something. Okay, nice and strong, get that mid vein there. Okay, so mid vein, huge stipule. You can see each leaf has a, well, it's easier with lower leaves, has a stipule. Um, the stipule is kind of disintegrating on this. Um, yeah, you can still see it. But there. you can see it on this one. Mm -hmm. Some of them have gotten broken. Mm -hmm. um, could put them a Okay. Uh, that's the myrophyllum again. So those are those are actually the leaves, and then those are the flowers. Um, all right. 